flight test crew here today talking to David and Sarah O'Neill from That Drone Show, uh, one of our cohorts on YouTube who's fascinated and loves drones just as much as we do. How are you doing, guys? We're very well, thank you. We're doing great. Great to be on your show. We are big fans. We have been watching it for almost two years now. Wow, wow. Well, it's exciting for us to have you here. We've been checking your channel out. I have to say, I am really impressed with just the sheer volume you guys are managing to, to do. I mean, a show a day, that my, my, my little head would explode. That's a commitment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't sleep much. <laughs> yeah, no, we have real jobs. So if anyone thinks like, oh, well, these guys are lucky to work on this every day. We are lucky to work on it every day, but we also have to pay the man. And we do go to work all day as well. And then we come home to our secret drone studio <laughs> called Drone Control. And we work all night long making drone shows. And then we try to fly. Sometimes. <laughs> that, that sounds alarmingly familiar, so uh, I think we can relate. Um, so anyway, I, we heard you guys have got this International Drone Day coming up. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? We're very excited about this. Well, it's on March 14th, 2015, and basically the idea stem, Sarah had the idea. She said, you know what, we've got all these reports that we're doing every single day on that drone show. We're always talking about, you know, the, the, the case with the FAA against reckless flying. We're talking about drones and near misses. We're always seeming to report something bad about drones or drones crashing or spying or, or, or people fearing drones. And all the media reports generally, unless we're doing like a product review or we're talking about, you know, what something we flew or, or one of our friends that we're interviewing, it's generally the media is generally bad against drones. There's never any good news. And so we decided, why don't we make a day where the media could report good news? And we thought, you know, we'll just make something called Drone Day. And then we said, well, let's make it International Drone Day because we have a lot of viewers like you guys do around the world. And, you know, we've got UK and Canada and, you know, all the different continents. And we thought, let's make a day so that we can all fly drones and just kind of let the media know what it's all about. And that's kind of where it started, showing the press that it's a good thing by hosting an event, inviting the press and not just inviting like all of your flying buddies because... If we're all flying together, we already know and we're already part of the, the movement that drones are good and we're flying safely, but it's inviting like the local police, a church group, maybe your neighbor that kind of is annoyed about you flying the drone or something like that and say, you know what, we're having this day down here. Why don't you come down? We're going to kind of fly around. we got some demonstrations going on. We're going to tell the local press what we're doing. And then to top it off, it's not only going to happen in this city, it's happening in how many countries? I think we've got, I want to say close to 60 teams now in about 30 countries and 25 states. Yeah. Um, and th those teams range, we've got, as I said, we've got obviously people in America, we've got teams in the UK, we have teams in Asia and Singapore and Taiwan, we've got teams in the Middle East and Kuwait, we have teams across Europe and Switzerland. The Ukraine, yes. Yeah, the Ukraine, Switzerland, Poland, like we, we were overwhelmed with how eager people were. Yeah, the first day we put it up, it was like, we would just asked for team captains. We said, we need, you know, and we were hoping, what, to get maybe 40 people. We thought that would be like really positive. And we thought, let's not do it too soon. Let's put it out till March. Now we know that a lot of places are still cold. Yeah. And during that time, but we had some people like in Canada go, oh no, we fly all the time. We had guys in Switzerland, no, we fly all the time. We're fine. But we were just so overwhelmed. We just asked for like, can you be a team captain in your area? Can you organize an event? We're, we're kind of working out the framework of what's going to happen, but basically a public demonstration of what drones can do for good. You know, you can do some FPV racing. You can do some search and rescue. You can show them how the fail safe works. You can just show them if you can't fly in your area or it's raining or you have to be inside, just put them on a table and have a discussion about farming and movies and search and rescue and all the different things that drones can do because I mean we just had our friend uh, Sally French on our show who's the drone girl and she's a reporter and she she went to an event this week and her technology columnist that works with her didn't even know that drones could do anything good she thought they were killing machines that would spy on you so we're so and that was like from a major newspaper a very smart individual that thought that and that's in the media and in technology in san francisco didn't know that drones were good so we thought you know the hashtag will be drones are good and we'll make this event be you know global it's about education it was like we might slightly be paraphrasing what sally said about her friend there right. but but the the the, the, the point is the same people don't know they associate drones with spying or with war or with amazon delivering stuff the last one isn't so bad <laughs> well no but no you're right it's not a bad thing but that, that's the extent of their knowledge they don't know about 
Oh, yeah, they're used in search and rescue. They're used in um, uh, glacier inspections. They're used to gather whale DNA. But yeah, or they can be used to, you know, in, in uh, developing countries where they do tuberculosis tests. They're able to, like, take the samples, fly over roads that you couldn't traverse very easily, get them to the station, and be able to have the doctors, like, it's Doctors Without Borders that's doing this. They're able to travel to more places that way. So it's kind of a public demonstration of what the drones are. And we were just overwhelmed. I mean, we had a few teams signed up, and they had this roster of events, and we're like, wow, this is really amazing. I can't believe how many people are signing up and, and multiple groups within Canada, multiple groups in the United States. And I mean, for probably about three weeks, we didn't sleep because it was literally <laughs> all night long. There'd be emails from different countries, people calling, wanting to know how we how they yeah. signed up. I mean, now it's subsided a little bit and people are kind of getting excited for it. And, and I think your event's going to really help that out to, uh, to have the uh, drones for the holidays where they can learn how to fly and get people's appetite ready for this. Because most of the events are going to have FPV racing demonstrations, search and rescue where you kind of have like a bunch of boxes in places with numbers on it. And you have to go out, find all those numbers and bring us to some. And all the birds go up at the same time just to kind of show what kind of a wide area that you could cover. And all the team captains are are doing their own events. So they there's no like real directive of like you have to do this, this, and this. The only directive is you have to alert the media, you have to do good things with drones and bring people that don't know about drones. That yeah. you, not just your buddies, not just the local hobby shop, just random people. Hey, we're having drone day coming up. It's it, come and take a look at it. So if um if somebody wants to be a team captain, what's the procedure? You said you're getting these signups from all over the place, so clearly you've got some procedure in place. What should people do? Right, all they need to do is go to the, the International Drone Day website, which is www.internationaldroneday.com, and there's a link there called um, Join a Team, and you can, if, you can see if there's a team in your area, and if there is, it's got all the contact details for the local team captain, so just reach out to them. Um, or if not, you can create a team, and all you need to do then is supply us with a little bit of information about who you are, what area you want to represent, um, your contact information, just like, you know, the obvious stuff. Right. Now, I also understand you're sort of going to have a mothership event in um, Las Vegas. Well, tell us what that's going to be like. You yourselves are going to be there, right? Yeah, we are. We're actually renaming Las Vegas for that weekend. Yeah, Las Vegas is changing its name on March 14th, 2015. What's it called, Sarah? Drone Vegas. Drone Vegas. All right. Drone Vegas. Well, uh, having heard about that earlier, I've got a little bit of exciting news which is thanks to our dear friends at Go Professional Cases, our official travel sponsor. We are going to be there in Drone Vegas on March 14th. So uh, we're really excited. We're really looking forward to being a part of that, meeting you guys in person. Although I guess we're also going to meet you in person just this weekend at the Drone yeah. Expo. But meeting you again in person in, uh, in March and meeting all the people who come out there for that event. Oh, awesome. We're thrilled to have you. That's no, that's fantastic. what's so cool is like, I just feel like sometimes when we're flying our drones out in the world, like we're so isolated, like, yes, there's everything on the internet, but whenever we fly, we never see another drone any anywhere. Now I get to meet you guys, get to fly with you guys, get to have an event with you. I mean, the people that I watched like for two years doing all these amazing things with drones, I'm just like, this is really, really cool. Like, I'm really happy. Like, pinch me. Plus at the event, we also have, um, we're going to have a celebrity a few different celebrities that we're not announcing yet. I mean, these, these two are celebrities, yes, but we do have some unannounced celebrities that will be announced shortly, so it gets better. You'll wanna come out to Las Vegas. We're going to have some FAA discussions. Drone Vegas. We're gonna have some FAA discussions. We're gonna have some product demonstrations. We're gonna have a few different events. It's gonna be really cool. It's still in the, in the planning stages because we really wanna push it and make it an amazing thing. So, I mean, I think if you look at the, at the numbers here, January 2nd, we've got drones for the holidays. January 3rd. January 3rd, we've got drones for the holidays. Then we've got the Drone Film Festival in New York, right? That's in February. Then we've got drone, International Drone Day on March 14th. So this year is shaping up. I mean, if you're a drone enthusiast, if you're anywhere in the sound of my voice, Come to International Drone Day, come to Drones for the Holidays, and come to the New York Drone Film I Festival. I am going to officially name 2015 the Year of the Drone. The Year of the Drones. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Great minds. Okay, 2015, Year of the Drone. <laughs> the Year of the Drone. So, yeah, it's really simple to sign up, and it's like, if it's, let's say, like, you lived on that island in Germany. Remember that island of juice where they were delivering... Yes. materials back and forth via drone. If you live there and you have nobody else, you can still have drone day by just simply flying your drone that day, inviting like, hey, look, this is my drone. Yeah. And you can hashtag some stuff on Twitter. It's just all about having the media. We want to have so much pressure on the media. So they have to say like, 
there was some drone events held around the world and everyone got together to say, you know what, we're not here to hurt you. We're actually good, we come in peace. We're gonna fly these, they're gonna change the world, embrace them, learn about them. They're going to be a positive thing. It's not gonna be Skynet. Yeah, we've actually even got some teams in areas where flying is currently banned. Um, be they certain states like North Carolina, where it's, you know, certain types of flying are banned, should I clarify? A dry state. Um, yeah, and in some countries in Europe where it's banned, but people are still signing up because they recognize that, you know, drones are the future. Absolutely, well, that's, that's remarkable. That's, that's really remarkable. Well, we will, um, we will certainly be keeping in touch uh, on International Drone Day as we get closer. We'll be planning our trip to come out there soon. And I'm just looking forward to meeting you guys in person twice in the next couple of months. This weekend at um, Drone Expo in L.A. and then in Drone Vegas on March 14th for International Drone Day in the year of the drone. If I've got, if I'm, am I droning on here? I can't tell. Always. Go ahead. <laughs> Not at all. We're thrilled and... I dare say that we are slightly more excited to meet you <laughs> than you are to meet us. I'm probably just going to be like, hi, how are you? I'm a big fan. My name's, I don't forgot. <laughs> like, I'll just be like, That's what you was like the first time you met me. I'll be the guy drilling in the corner. Oh, those are the guys. They're really cool. They flew Mountain Dew on a helicopter. That was awesome. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Thank you so much for having us on your show. We appreciate it. Absolutely, absolutely. Looking forward to International Drone Day in Drone Vegas. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoy watching. See you next time. All right. Fly safe.